Okay, so we have set up what the tools are, we've written out what a trial will look like, and now we need to actually complete them and get our results. So, again, we're working with the Magnum problem, and this is my table of results. So I've got 30 trials that I said I would do. If the random number gives me an output where he will buy a Magnum, then I roll the dice to see um, how many times he gets a winning stick from those magnums that he buys. If you look down the, the column for whether he gets a magnum or not, you can see on the times that he doesn't, we don't bother rolling the dice because we know he's not going to get a winning stick if he doesn't buy a magnum. Okay, so let's just have a look at this table and check that you can see what's happening. So the first one, we got a random number of two. That means that he does buy a magnum because we decided on the numbers 1 to 8 representing that 80% for him to buy a magnum. That means we need to roll the dice and we got a 1. Now we decided earlier on that 6 was our winning number so that means he doesn't win there. Try on number 2, he got a 4 on his random number so yes he buys a magnum. The dice roll was a 6 which is our winning number so on that particular occasion he got a winning stick. If we look down the column here, we've got random number of 10 means he doesn't buy a magnum, which means we don't have to bother rolling the dice. Now we go through and we check all of the times that we got a yes for winning. And we can see that if we add them up, we've got seven times out of those 30 trials that we've simulated would result in him winning. Okay, so the calculations part we're going to estimate that Jordan will buy a winning magnum seven days out of 30. This means that the probability that he buys a winning magnum can be estimated as seven out of 30 or 0.23, which can also be represented as 23%. It doesn't really matter how you express the um, probability there. It can be a fraction, a decimal or a percentage. It's very important though that you say that it is an estimate. Since we're simulating this, you can get different results different times, and somebody else running the same experiment would get a slightly different result. We have to always talk about this being an estimate. Okay, so you might get then get asked a question, like, from this probability, how many do you expect he would win in a fortnight? So that means that he would do this over 14 days. So we need to use that probability to work out of those 14 days how many times would he buy a magnum and then get a winning stick? So we multiply it by that probability that we just worked out and we'll get 3.27. So literally speaking, that would mean that he would win 3.27 times. Now, of course, when you're talking about this applied to the real situation, that's not a sensible thing to say. He, we, he wouldn't win 3.27 winning sticks. So we need to round that to a sensible answer. So we estimate that he would get approximately three winning sticks over a fortnight.